Hey everybody, it's another July rocket launch. Two in one month, I know, it's insane. This launch, we have done some interesting things. We've taken all the things that worked from the last launch and kept them, and then introduced some new things. The main thing is we now attach our fins in a really cool new way, and the fins connect direct to the engine mount and have a shroud over them. We'll show you that on the first rocket so you can get a sense of it. It really is stiffening the fin attachment and making it so that we have more flexibility in the kinds of fins we may attach. But anyway, we've got, I don't know, 12 or 13 rockets from B to F. Our biggest rocket today is an F-52, which is six foot eight. Hopefully we'll get to it and you'll get to see it. So, all right, looks like the rest of the crowd is here, so we'll get busy. Another thing we're doing is not telling you this part because we should have been doing this the whole time and we don't want you to know how unsafe we've been being. Here we have our first rocket of the day. It's a B-3320, like our scientific naming from last time. Uh, 30 means its diameter is 30 millimeters with a height, this height, of yeah. 320 millimeters, and B means it's a B motor, and it should go about 400 feet. Let's try it out. All right, and go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Nice and slow. Uh-oh, it did not. Unfortunately, it did not deploy. Darn. All right. Hey, everybody. So we're just going to show you Windsock, which will have a C-18 in it. But we want to talk about the way the fins are connected. You can see now the fins are connected to the inside engine tube with slots and then secured with this housing, which acts as an airframe through these slots here. Um, and that will allow us to use, you know, different size fins on the rocket. It will also mean um, we can replace broken fins easier and we can have more than one set of fins. All right, let's exactly. pop that on. Go. Three, two, one. Yeah, it's straight up. up there. And it's coming back. And we have no deployment again. Jesus, that's two. The thing is. Go, Casper. Here we have C36 560B, I guess. So this is um, our first C. Yeah. And it has a diameter of 36 millimeters and a height of 560 millimeters and it will go about 650 feet. 650 feet in the air. All right, let's check it. Three, two, one. I got really close to the drone. No, oh, it did deploy. It's trying. Yeah, it worked! I didn't think it would! Oh, it's windy up there. Wow! Okay, we'll get that one at the end. Woo! I feel like that came really close to the drone. We'll see once we get to uh, slow-mo. Here we have C36 635B. And I've just learned that the B denotes survival. So this one is an amalgamation of parts that survived from last time, but with the new technology of the slotted fins. Um, it's another C and it should go 204 miles per hour and reach 750 feet. All right, let's give it a shot. And there is the drone aloft. All right, now for this rocket. Three, two, one. Ooh. Unstable! We have to get over to that one because it's still smoking. Here we have our first D of the day, D4640B, another surviving rocket from last launch. Uh, again, it's been refitted with slotted fins and it looks very patriotic for 
14th of July month. There we go. All right, let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Nice. And it's deployed perfectly. Or it separated. Why would it separate? Interesting. We have separation. Hi. And the body is in the field. And I've lost the nose. Tree. All right, well, we got the body back. Here we have D40 1050B. Another D, very small fins, and it's also our first rocket above a meter tall for the day. We should see lots of much taller rockets towards the end of the day, however. Mm -hmm. This one should go pretty high because it's pretty light and it has a pretty powerful motor. Right, I'm thinking, ooh, I forgot how big, and it's 750, I think, is safe. Three, two, one. Ooh, that wind definitely affected it. Ow. And it did not, did it deploy? Yes, it did. But the chute hasn't come out, which is probably a blessing today because of the wind. Even then, I think it's gonna be lucky if we get it back. Ah, uh, maybe it's on the edge. Yeah, it might be behind the trees though. Yeah, oh, dude. Good, okay, here we have D50-615B, another survivor. Notice it has a slightly larger diameter than the other Bs by about 10 millimeters. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a little shorter at only 615 with its height. So um, this one's probably heavier, probably won't go as high as the other one, so maybe 600 feet or so. The last yeah. one went 750. Um, so let's see what happens. Let's see, it's getting pretty windy, isn't it? Quite. Three, two, one. Okay, over the road. Not deploying. Yeah, it did. Into the tree. Into the tree. Bummer. Has to be in the tree to be on the ground by now. We have our first DXL of the day. It has a diameter of 50 millimeters and a height of 1,080 millimeters. Um, as you can see, promptly written on the side, it should reach 750 feet in altitude. It's also a surviving rocket. I don't know if I mentioned the B in its name. Yeah. So it once again has slotted fins, just like the other ones. Let's see if this. It's very windy, so we're. It's affecting our stability. Let's see Certainly how it goes. Is. Three, two, one. That one was perfectly deployed, and I'm sure it will be in the pit. It's almost too pretty for a lot. Oh, man. Bye. Oh, gee. Well, might be right on the edge. Might be right on the edge. Go. Yes, here's another DXL for the day. It is 1.9 meters tall, which is about as tall as I am, and it's 40 millimeters wide. All right, let's see how she goes. Three, two, one. It's really trying. Oh, it went backwards. <laughs> oh, but it did deploy. I don't think it went as far, which is good. Yeah, it didn't go very high. Well, it was fighting the wind. Right, that reduces the height. 
and we'll get it back. Yay! Oh, it hit the fence. Nice! Here we have our first E of the day, E70-1500B, another survivor from last launch. Again, it has been refitted with the new fin design, and it should reach 735 feet in altitude. All right, let's try it out. Three, two, one. Really nice. Please deploy. It did deploy, but not fully. Watch out for it. Oh no, it's sort of, what's happening to that thing? Oh, right on. Drone is chasing it. And I think we're gonna get it back. Boom, all right, even though the chute didn't fully deploy, it tried. Nice drone chase. Here we have E90-930B. So this is another survivor from last time. It has a very distinct shape. So if you've seen our last video, you have definitely seen this rocket and probably yes. remember it. Once again, it has been refitted with the new fin design. So its modularity has been increased and its repairability has increased. All right, let's see how we go. Three, two, one. Really good. Perfect deployment with the chute, which means we might lose it into the pit, but it's coming down pretty fast. Wow. Come on down. Yes, we'll get it. Oh, good. Here we have EXT 60 1385B, another survivor from last launch that has been refitted with the new modular fin system. So uh, we'll see what happens with this one, but I, I hope it goes up and I hope it comes down. All right, we think it's going to be about a thousand feet. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Wow. Yeah, if we get that one back, it'll be a miracle, though it has deployed. Definitely 1,200 feet, and I think that's 50-50 right now, and it's just gone to 0% chance of seeing that one again, <laughs> which is too bad because it's got a nice parachute. Yep, in to the pit. <laughs> we might be able to get it if we drive in there. I think the pit wraps around. All right. Here we have Musala. This rocket is six foot eight or 80 inches tall. It will reach 1100 feet and it can reach 200 miles per hour. Some fun trivia about this rocket is at the top speed, the tip of the rocket produces 1 million pascals of force. Wow. Three, two, one. We'll never see it again. And it has deployed. And it's definitely going into the pit. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big rocket to not. I'm going to go after it. See if you can catch it and drag it back, Greg. <laughs> Well, maybe we could take a walk down there at the end. 
And that is definitely in the pit. Well, we'll take a ride down. All right, wow. Hey everybody. Well, that was the second rocket launch in July. Our last rocket was the largest one we've ever done. Looks like it's gone into the pit. We're gonna try to go down there and see if we can get it because it's so big. And I wanna say thanks to Casper, my uh, ground engineer. And of course, we've got Greg, who has been the drone pilot. So um, hopefully we'll have some drone footage in the final video. Casper also took some, some good stills. So I'll, I'll pop some stills in the video. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Again, like and subscribe. You probably won't see us again until for real August this time. Um, with uh, hopefully the rockets will have even more construction friendly techniques where those tubes will maybe thread together. We're working on it, let's see. All right, have a good Sunday, ciao. Wow.